Hey guys, what's going on? Base Model 3 here. Just making a quick little video about how I sold my car to Carvana. I had a couple of people ask me what the process of selling the Carvana was, and it was actually a lot easier than I expected. First off, you go to the Carvana website, Carvana.com. This is their site. You get sell, you get a real offer. So this is my offer that I did before. You can put in your license plate number or the VIN. License plate is easier because it just pulls everything. It pulls the VIN and then it pulls everything else about your car too. So I just put that in, I put give my offer, it pulls all that up, 2008 Miata. I just want to sell it. If you want to trade in, you could, you could trade in, but so put my zip, Oops. put the color. And these are all the features that the car has. So these are the extra features. It did have a navigation system and it did have leather seats. So I will select that. My car has not been in an accident. No issues, no dashboard, warning lights, no modifications, wink wink, no exterior damage, uh, vehicle has not been smoked in, condition of the vehicle. So this is kind of uh, weird because Carvana pretty much takes your word for it. They didn't really inspect my car. So I, I, I mean my car is in pretty great condition but I'm not sure if they would mark off for those dings but they, they didn't. So I just put pretty great. I do have two keys. Purpose of this video I'll put neither but I did have a loan on it, so when you hit loan, it asks you for the loan company, remaining balance, blah blah blah, monthly payment. I'll hit get my offer. So this is what the final screen looks like. So you could save your offer for the next seven days. It says here two days, I think because I did this a couple days ago. Yeah, I did this a couple days ago, and I remade the video. So that's why this says two days, because I don't think I cleared my cookies. Um, but it should say seven days and then you could save your offer then I can't show this part Because I don't feel you know, I'm not gonna save the offer, but well actually let's see what happens save offer That's not gonna let me okay So under so the next thing they do is they say verify ownership So you have to send a picture of the registration card a picture of your license um, The payoff loan if you own the car the just the picture of the title but if you don't own the car, they ask you for your 10-day payoff from the bank. So I had to send that. There was one more document I had to send. I don't remember what it was, but it was just something that you had offhand. I think I'm not, I don't remember 100% what it was though. So then once you submit your documents, you just upload the pictures here. It asks you, they, they tell you give them 24 to 48 hours to review, but it took them about three hours to get back to me. So once they got back, this get paid uh, button becomes open and then you just tell them if they want if you want them to direct deposit or if you want them to cut you a check on the spot when the Carvana rep shows up now if you do have a loan on your car they're not gonna cut you a check unless you are in a situation like mine where they're cutting you a check for more than what you owe so they send they send the payoff to the bank and then in my case I got an ex a check for a thousand dollars because that was the difference between what I owed and then what Carvana was giving me and then finally you can schedule the appointment you can either drop it off at your local Carvana vending machine or they will come pick it up at whatever time you choose in my case I had to schedule it a week out because they were a little booked up but my offer still held valid even though it was after the seven days because we had already, you know, reached an agreement. Funny thing about the pickup, though, is that I always thought that Carvana used the tow truck to pick up your car and drop it off. And apparently, according to a couple of my friends that live in the city, this is true. But I guess in the in the suburbs, they don't use the tow trucks. They have drivers that come out. So what happened in my situation was, once I scheduled the appointment, the Carvana rep showed up at my house that day. I signed the paperwork, signed the car over, he gave me the check, and then he took a couple pictures of my car, put a lockbox on it, and left. About 30 minutes later, random guy showed up, not wearing any Carvana gear or anything. Um, not even a hat, which was weird, because the first guy was had a car with a Carvana logo on it, he was dressed professionally, he had Carvana, you know, attire on. This guy could have been a random guy off the street, and I wouldn't have known any better. Really, the only thing proving that he was Carvana was the fact that he was unable to unlock the car, or unlock the lockbox, because there's a QR code you have to scan. So he unlocks the lockbox, hops in the car, and leaves, and that was it. The funny part was, about 30 minutes later, one of my friends texts me and says, Hey man, why are you pulled over on LaGrange Road with 
three cops by you and i'm like that's not me probably the carvana guy sent me you know a video a couple videos of him driving back and forth and it was indeed my car i could tell it was my car so i'm assuming the police pulled him over for no plate because the weird thing was he didn't have a dealer plate to put on there or anything and i don't think carvana gives them the drivers one so that was just a little weird to me because I, I almost, I'm curious what happened to the driver because obviously driving on the streets without a plate is super illegal. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.